Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Mr. Castrillón y los, les doy una bienvenida a otra Satchel Class. Uh, Mr. Castrillón, I would like to welcome you to another session of Satchel Classes today. Our topic en forma, or our title en forma, has to do a lot with health and, well, having a healthy lifestyle. Uh, this is one of the topics that will definitely uh, be part of your uh, preparations for GCSEs in, in the future. And of course, um, we want to learn a lot about this topic. Today, we're going to express our opinion in terms of health. And of course, it's really important to learn this because uh, it's one of those skills that will give you good marks when you are actually uh, dealing with your exam. Hoy vamos a repasar vocabulario sobre la salud para estar en forma. Vamos a expresar nuestra opinión sobre por qué hay que tener una vida sana. Vamos a traducir oraciones que expresan opiniones y vamos a completar oraciones incompletas que muestran opinión. So as you can see, we have quite a lot to do today. So let's start with the first activity of the day. ¿Cómo se dice en español? Here I have a, a set of phrases or words uh, that are very common Uh, when we are talking about health, a balanced diet, early, fit, health, healthy, healthy foods, late, mental health, mental health, physical exercise and stress. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a list of options uh, that all you have to do is match them up with the English phrase. So I'm going to give you three minutes to put them all together to match them up. So are you ready? Go for it. The options are ejercicio físico, comidas saludables, el estrés, en forma, salud, salud mental, saludable, sano o sana, it's the same, tarde, temprano y una dieta equilibrada. Three minutes for that, off you go.
time is up. Now then, let's see how these words match with each other. We have una dieta equilibrada, temprano, en forma, salud, saludable, sano o sana. Be very mindful that sano is masculine and sana is feminine. Comidas saludables, tarde, salud mental, ejercicio físico, el estrés. Now, what I would like you to do is if you have, uh, if you're watching this on your laptop or your uh, PC, take a picture of the screen or a screenshot of it so you can actually uh, remember these words because we are going to use them throughout the lesson. Now then, we are going to match up again some very important, uh, some very important phrases. Now, as you can see, all of these phrases are verbs and they are in infinitive. And of course, we have all of those will match with one of the following. Now, I've got debo tengo que, which is I have to. So, we are going to match them up and we're going to match them up with these ones here. Okay, now each one of those ones will be a phrase that we use to express health or healthy living. So I'm going to give you three minutes to match them up again. Time is up. Now let's have a look at the answers. Hacer bastante ejercicio físico, which means to do a lot of physical exercise. Mantenerse en forma, to keep yourself fit. Cuidar la salud o salud mental is basically to keep your health healthy or to be healthy or keep your um, mental health uh, up or good. To go to sleep early, acostarse temprano. Levantarse tarde is to get up late. Mantener una dieta equilibrada means to keep a balanced diet. 
evitar el estrés, which is avoid stress, consumir comidas saludables, which is basically to have a healthy food, and finally, vivir una rutina saludable o sana, which is to live a, routine, a healthy or a routine. So all of these sentences here, as you can see, they are things that we do to keep ourselves healthy or fit. Now we're going to express our opinion. So how do we express our opinion? It's really simple. First, we are going to use one of these initial phrases. En mi opinión, a mi parecer, para mí, a mi juicio, a mi parecer, está claro que. Now all of these ones here, somehow, are really easy to remember. So they are quite basic, so to speak. The next ones, which are creo que, pienso que, considero que, opino que, is actually you taking the whole sentence to a different level. You're saying, I think that. Um, and this, of course, in Spanish shows more awareness or more knowledge of the language. Now, we're going to combine these ones with the sentences that we saw earlier. So, for instance, you can say, en mi opinión, hacer bastante ejercicio físico, and we are about to give our opinion. We are actually saying that in our opinion, uh, to do a lot of ex physical exercise, and then we need to finish our sentence. And, by do and to do so, we are going to add this here. So we have that, and then we go from there to here. So for instance, I could say, en mi opinión, mantenerse en forma es malo para la salud, or es bueno para la salud. Now be very aware, uh, or uh, aware of what these uh, words here mean. Es bueno means it's good, es malo is, or means it's bad. It's very positive, it's very negative. These, uh, by the way, are just kind of uh, prompts. Uh, they're short phrases that you can remember, but feel free to research a lot more of those. Now, we have another set of way, uh, words or phrases that we can use to express our opinion. Me parece buena idea, o estoy a favor de. Now, these two are positive. So this is when you have a positive opinion. If you want to make it negative, you could say no me parece or no estoy a favor, which is no at the beginning of the sentence. So what we do is we add this, but we need to use por qué o ya qué. So we will go from here. You follow the green arrow. You add one of these phrases here, any of those ones, whichever you want to use. But then we are going to use por qué o ya que, either or. They mean because. And after that, we are going to add uh, our final phrase. So an example would be, estoy a favor, a favor de cuidar la salud, porque es bueno para la salud. You could do that and then you can play with different varieties of it. Or estoy a favor de mantener una dieta equilibrada ya que es bueno para la salud. And that sentence sounds a lot better than the previous one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you two minutes for you to create some sentences based on those opinions. Two minutes, off you go.
how did that go? I hope you've managed to build some good sentences there. Now, we are going to do a short exercise here. I'm just going to pronounce some of those ones. I'm going to make sentences here. What I, will, I would like you to do is I would like you to translate them into Spanish, sorry, into English. So let's start with the first one. En mi opinión, levantarse tarde es malo para la salud. I'm going to repeat. En mi opinión, levantarse tarde es malo para la salud. Can you translate that one? I'm going to give you 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In my opinion, getting up late is bad for your health. Another one. Creo que mantener una dieta equilibrada es muy positivo. I'm going to repeat that. Creo que mantener una dieta equilibrada es muy positivo. I'm going to count in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I think that keeping a balanced diet is very positive. Right, let's continue. We are going to translate some sentences here. So I have these five sentences. They are all opinions. And I'm going to help you out with the actual translation of the phrases. However, you need to translate the opinion. So be very careful if it says, I believe, or in my opinion, to me, I'm in favor of, I think it is, and so on. So let's do it. I'm going to give you three minutes for that. Off you go. Remember that you are more than welcome to come back to these videos and watch them again if you don't get time today. But also feel free to take pictures of the slide or a screenshot of, of it so you can actually revise it on your own time. By the way, always ask your teacher for more information or extra sentences or phrases that would be very helpful for you to get the best score during your exams. And why not? you're talking in Spanish when you go to another country. We're going to continue here. And then we're going to do a bit of a GCC challenge. I have four, three people, sorry. I've got Lucas, Miguel, and Maria. I'm going to ask you some questions. The first one. Early mornings are not good. My question to you is, who says that? I'm going to give you 20 seconds to try and find who is the person who says that early mornings are not good. Off you go. Well, that person is Maria. She says that she's not, uh, she doesn't agree with people getting up early. Who says young people have to recharge batteries? Well, that's once again, Maria. She says, young people, los jóvenes, necesitamos recuperar la energía. That's to recharge batteries in Spanish. Healthy food helps with fitness. Who says that? Well, that is Miguel, of course, because he says, consumir comidas saludables es muy positivo. Then we have, doing exercise helps reducing stress. 
Of course, it's Lucas. Lucas, he clearly says, me ayuda a evitar el estrés. That's good. Muy bien. We learned how to express our opinions today, and we also revised words related to being healthy. We watched uh, matched phrases in order to form sentences giving opinions. We also translated sentences that showed opinions, and finally, we completed the G GCSE challenge. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson, and feel free to come back and watch this lesson again. In the meantime, muchos éxitos y muchas gracias.